Hi guys, um, thank you for tuning into my channel. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Thank you. So on this video today, I'm going to be discussing um, the process of relocating to the UK as a registered nurse in Nigeria. So first things first, the uh, first thing that you need to do to start this process is to get your international passport ready because you can start um, the process without having your international passport. And after that, you need to obtain your license to practice as a registered nurse by either having a diploma in nursing from a nursing school in Nigeria or having your BNSC from a university in Nigeria. And when you have your international passport ready, your notification and your license or your certificate ready, then you are ready to start the process of relocating to the UK as a registered nurse. And then the second thing you need to do after obtaining this is to proceed to NMCN online website and um, click on the register button. And then you see two options. You can either apply as an adult nurse or you can apply as a midwife. Whichever one that applies to you, click on it. Now, most people often ask me questions like, uh, Nurse UK, do I need my birth certificate? Do I need my marriage certificate? No. You don't need all these things to apply for a UK verification. And then some people also ask me questions like, um, oh, I've done a change of name um, after marriage. Would it affect the verification process? These things doesn't affect your um, application to the NMC UK. If you have done a change of name, all you need to do is to impute the current name that you are known by, and there will be an option to also impute the former name that you used to register with NMC Nigeria. And after that, they will ask you to upload an evidence of change of name, and you will upload this evidence. And that's it. It solves the, it solves the matter. <laughs> and... The application process is in different stages. The first stage is a stage where they get your data, your name, where you come from, and all that. And after that, you get to upload your international passport, and you upload either your notification, your license, or your certificate. Some people, because they don't have their certificate yet, don't know whether they should start the process or not. Well, I'm telling you today that you can even apply for verification with just your notification alone. Yes. So when you upload this, then you pay a certain amount of money to the NMC UK and they will send a message to the NMC to NMC Nigeria and say, oh, uh, we want to verify if this person is a registered nurse. And after that, they will also send you an email. And on your own part, all you need to do after that is to also apply to mm -hmm. NMC Nigeria and um, submit the following, submit the credentials that they ask you to submit. If your license is expired, this is a good point to renew your license. When you apply for the license renewal, you can submit the receipt you used to apply to NMC Nigeria. The verification process takes about um, three to six weeks. Sometimes it can take more, depending on the number of applications that NMCN have at the moment. And after that, you can now start preparing for the IELTS examinations while waiting for your verification. Now, when you get your IELTS um, and also get your verification done, you can now apply for your CBT exams, that's the computer-based test exams. The body responsible for this is the peers in view. They are going to send you an email after verification saying, oh, um, you can now apply for your CBT. And the CBT exams is just the first part of the competency exams that tests your basic knowledge as a nurse. These are things that you see in the clinical areas, in, in clinical practice areas. These are the basic everyday, today things that you see in the clinics and then after you are done with your cbt exams you can now proceed to um, websites like trap jobs and um, nhs job websites to um, start applying for international nurse roles here in the uk and um, 
a lot of people usually wait till they have their exams complete. Sometimes I advise people, if you have gotten your IELTS, please go ahead to start the job process of job application. And um, if you've gotten your CBT, you can also start the process of job application. And um, before the process is complete, you would have gotten the both um, exams. You would have gone through the both exams and gotten the necessary certifications that you need. You don't need to delay the process after getting your IELTS or your CBT. And most nurses also ask this question like, oh, if I get a job in the UK, what about my family? You can come with your family. As a nurse who is being sponsored to work um, in the UK, um, that gives you an opportunity to come along with either your husband or your children. As long as your children are below the age of 16, you can come with them. But I usually advise that um, you come over, write the second part of the competency exam, which is the OSCE exam. And when you pass the OSCE exam, then your family can come over. Because um, usually uh, when you when nurses come with their family, it's usually um, a kind of distraction from the OSCE exams because you're trying to sort out the children, you're trying to read for the exams and um, all that. So I advise that you come pass the OSCE exams, and then your family can come. Please, I hope this video was really helpful. And please um, drop your questions below. And don't forget to also hit the subscribe button before you leave. Thank you.